Hey, guess what happened at school today? You made the honor roll. What's that? Forget it. What happened at school? Well, there's this girl. Okay, now I'm listening. Her name is Robin Newberry. Her name's not important. Proceed. She gave me a cupcake. Yeah, so? I think she likes me. So what's the problem? No, I think she thinks I like her back. Do you? I didn't think I did, but it was a really good cupcake. Wow. Talk about your perfect metaphor. No, it was a cupcake. Okay, blank slate. Listen up. I'm going to tell you something that will serve you well for your entire life. Like when you're peeing outside, always face downwind? Better. By the way, what the hell were you thinking? I was thinking, boy, I hope that's really warm rain. Okay, okay, let's focus on today's lesson. Never, ever confuse cupcakes with love. But I love cupcakes. We all love cupcakes. That doesn't mean you have to love the baker. Her mom baked it. You're missing the point. Robin just helped with the icing. Okay, okay. She made a smiley face with Red Hots. I get it. I'm just saying that when someone freely gives you her cupcake, your only obligation is to enjoy it. There's no reason to get emotionally involved. Why not? Because if you do, the next thing you know, you'd be stuck eating the same damn cupcake for the rest of your life. But it was a really good cupcake. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, I've had cupcakes like that. But the thing you got to remember is there'll always be other cupcakes. And if the day should come when you find yourself in a cupcake drought, then those days come. Don't kid yourself. Well, then you just shell out a couple of bucks for a nice ho-ho. <laughs> Understand? I think so. Thanks, Uncle Charlie. No problem. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Sex. Hey, Dad, what time is it? Uh, 20 after 6. Why? Because I have to call my girlfriend at 6.30. Um, wh uh, what girlfriend? Robin Newberry. Cupcake Robin Newberry? <laughs> Charlie, stay out of it. How can I stay out of it? If I saw a bus heading for him, would I not throw myself in front of it to save him? Would you? I'm just making a point here. <laughs> Charlie, if you don't mind, I'll handle it. Jake, I, I, I thought we talked about this. Yeah, you said I shouldn't take a cupcake from a girl if I don't like her. That's right. So I decided to like her. <laughs> More exclusive. Exclusive? That means I don't talk to other girls and I get a cupcake every day. <laughs> I better call now. If I'm late, she yells at me. Congratulations, Alan. Your son is officially pastry whipped. Save him for dessert. I bought brownies. No, thanks. Brownies just remind me of cupcakes. His, uh, his little girlfriend dumped him. Really? She said she needed her space. I'm sorry, buddy. Want some advice? Yeah. What do I do, Uncle Charlie? I meant from me. Oh. No, thank you. Well? You might as well listen to your dad, because I got nothing. Less than him? Fellas, I am the sick puppy of a downward dog. The only thing I'm good for is drinking out of the toilet and sniffing my own ass. Which, by the way, I saw our mother do earlier. Okay, what do you think? What smells so good? Your kid's in the kitchen, baking. You're kidding. Hey, Dad, want a cupcake? Um, sure. Well, Charlie? Thank you. Have as many as you want. I got another batch in the oven. It's, uh, it's very tasty. What, uh, what prompted this? I figured out I don't need a girlfriend. If I want a cupcake, I just make it myself. Taking matters into his own hands. The metaphor is now complete. Anybody want to lick the beater?
No. no.